Welcome to Gold Derby. I'm Denton Davidson here with PGA Awards nominee Mimi Leader, executive producer and director of The Morning Show. Uh, Mimi, what is it about morning shows in this world of news personalities and, and behind the scenes drama that intrigued you to make this series uh, and collaborate with your team and become so dedicated to, to telling this story? Well, a lot of questions there. <laughs> um, I've always been fascinated with behind the scenes of films and, and, and television shows, Larry Sanders. And I, you know, I love the idea of what, you know, newscasters and people who are celebrities and public figures look like to the public. And then behind the scenes, the complexity of their real lives very much mirror <laughs> I mean, very high stakes, uh, mirror, you know, real life people with complexities and problems. And they're all very flawed. And that has always fascinated me. And, you know, I had worked with Michael Ellenberg on Luck at HBO and, and The Leftovers. And, you know, he, he and I went to dinner and he said, you know, I have this great book, Top of the Morning, um, from Brian's Belter and um, um, we, you know, he said, you know, Jen and Reese are interested. And I said, I'm interested. And, you know, I've never signed on to anything without reading a script, but the world was very fascinating. And, um, you know, it is really an exciting time working with Michael and Jen and Reese and Kristen Hahn and Lauren um, and just uh, creating the show together with Carrie. Yeah. What is that like working with, you know, Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon, you know, you have these two huge stars and they're like, yeah, we want to make a television show with you. I mean, that's just, it goes to speak about, you know, what we've been talking about and just how the, the landscape of TV is changing. And what was that, um, what is that collaboration like for you? Well, the collaboration with my partners is, is, you know, fascinating. And, and you know to work with a group of artists, and um, you know Jen and Reese are real producers. They're executive producers. They're extremely smart and lovely, and um, it's it's been very synchronized. You know I you know I direct both of them. I produce the show, boots on the ground. Um, we have an extraordinary crew, and the entire cast is is ridiculously great. And, you know, Reese and Jen contribute, you know, to their characters, to the entire piece, we receive scripts, we give notes, as everybody does. And, um, you know, they're real producers, they're, you know, incredible actors. And it's, it's just been a lot of fun and, and very hard, very hard during COVID. And, um, but we, we made it. <laughs> And, you know, we were shooting when, um, you know, in 2020, we had shot 13 days and then we had to shut down and throw all the scripts away. And, uh, and so we tackled the world that we were living in up to that point. And that was fascinating, uh, really fascinating to explore. How did that impact your shoot? Because, I mean, it, the show takes place in New York um, and then we have... Steve Carell's character, the disgraced Mitch Kessler in Italy. So how are you able to recreate that um, in the middle of all that's going on? Yeah, well, we have an extraordinary production designer, Nelson Coates. And, you know, we never left LA this season. We shot Italy down by Alvera Street, the Pico House and um, did a lot of set extensions. We, you know, we had a cobblestone street and you know, buildings and were dressed and then CGI took over and we put the lake in. We shot the Italian villa in Sierra Madre um, mm. and, it, 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 and completely dressed it. And um, then I hired, I, I had shot the entire um, villa with drones from every angle and then we went and hired a drone unit uh, in Italy. And we scouted locations there and peninsulas that we wanted our villa to be on. So I sent the drone unit, we found it. And then we shot all day and into the evening 
um, with our drone, this, this peninsula from every angle. And not knowing exactly how I would use the footage, but knowing that I had an idea as to how I would use the footage. And, um, and then we <laughs> took our villa from Sierra Madre and placed it on the peninsula. And it was really, you know, extraordinarily uh, fascinating and difficult, but it was really exciting to be in that world. People said, you were in Italy. You know, what was it like? And I said, no, no, <laughs> we were in LA. <laughs> And, and uh, I think we pulled it off really well. And you also weave in a lot of real-time elements. Uh, I love the dinner party in episode two when you know, they're arguing over, arguing over Trump's impeachment and you know, some people are like, oh, it's a sham. And uh, <laughs> these, are, these are conversations families are having, you know, colleagues are having across America. How much of reality did you want to intertwine with the fictional side of the story that we're watching? Well, you know, that is always a challenge. It's a fictional universe we live in, but we're dealing with real life um, issues, Me Too, uh, identity, race, um, sexuality. And uh, so we deal with it very authentically. Uh, you know, it's a character driven show uh, and we dive deep into it. And, you know, with a with, you know, with, I think, great reality and, and authenticity. And, um, and you know, that, that particular sequence was really challenging, you know, um, and, and really fun. You have the entire, you have a big ensemble cast and you, you know, it's, it's very intricate and it's very emotional and you wanna stay in there. And then you, we go into the kind of the screwball comedy in the hallway with the two women, which, they are just brilliant um, at and and it, it was very enjoyable actually to shoot that stuff even though it was very that sequence even though it was uh you know challenging everything is challenging with what we do you know we create this these worlds of uh uh these these people that we fall in love with and another show on your resume is er one of the one of the great hits of television history. So I'm curious if that was your idea to bring Juliana Margulies onto this season or, or how, how did, where did that just all work out? Well, we were, you know, exploring, you know, sexuality um, on our show and identity. And we were, you know, exploring how hard it is for women in power to understand who they really are. And one of one of that's, that storyline is Reese's storyline and discovering who, what her sexuality is. And, you know, we wanted to find a Diane Sawyer type and someone that was instantaneously recognizable. And Juliana had, had that instant recognizable factor and she had the gravitas and she's an incredible actor. And, and, and she said, yes. And <laughs> we were very grateful. She's really, it was really fun to work with her again after all those years and uh, how we've all changed and grown. And, you know, storytelling is always fun and she was game. And one of the other real line or real life plots is COVID-19 sort of weaving in and, and they're like, you know, I think we should cover this as, it, as, it's, started, as it's starting to break. Um, uh -huh. I was curious, how much did that influence the story and did it I mean did you have to change your com plans completely for season two like did you yes rewrite the whole thing or how did that work yes the whole season was I mean we had a lot of scripts probably wow six or seven at when we started and um yes we stopped and we regrouped because the world shut down and in that time we examine very carefully what is the story we want to tell you know we're a new show a morning show but a new show and we wanted our world in on in our morning show world to reflect and mirror what was going on in the world and you know the reason we decided to take it up to um where we did um the lockdown was because that's where we were and that's what we knew and I don't, we felt we couldn't project any further. So yes, we threw all the scripts away, which was, oh my God, painful. And, um, but it was actually very exciting because we really had to uh, look 
and take a really deep dive into where we were and where the world was and where our character for and how it affected them. Um, and, you know, in many ways it opened them up and, um, and we went into deep reflection mode as to who we are. Well, it certainly all worked out and congratulations on season two. Congratulations on the PGA Awards nomination and thanks for sitting down and, and speaking with me today about the morning show. Thank you.